Hi guys, hi everyone and good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are. Welcome to Shark Spine TV. We are back. We are back. I'm back. Uh it's your boy Humphrey. Uh glad to be back. It's uh it's been a journey. It's been a while and uh yeah, I I, I just came first of all to explain myself where I left. So I had a bereavement, I had to journey uh to go and uh, attend my uh, grandmother's funeral she raised me she practically raised me um, as do many of your grandparents as well and so uh, uh, that's why I was missing for quite some time and um, you know I just wanted some uh, quietness and uh, it was actually hard uh, with the travels and all that to just um, arrange somewhere where we can uh, I can chat to you guys and also um, it's because uh, of the travel, like I said, it's because I was up and down. And then I arrived on last week, Friday, where we were playing Ospreys and boom, there we go, the game. I actually had forgotten. I thought the game would be on Saturday, but I had forgotten it's on Friday. So my travel arrangements um, were a bit um, not, not there. So I arrived and then the game was there. I didn't have time to unpack. I didn't have time to settle down and just deal with the Ospreys game. But luckily, I watched it and um, it was it was a nice game. I liked it. I like how you know Boeta Chamberlain played that game and all that. You know, uh, Martin Asportkita getting that try, bouncing in the try line. It was it was exciting to watch. Uh, but yeah. So before we go on, I just want to say uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you officially we're back officially we're gonna do this uh previews and all that uh coming up this week and uh, the following games and all that and i'll keep you entertained so we we're building uh and we changing and we modifying and we're learning as we go along but the most important thing is us as sharks fans we'll remain sharks fans black and white nothing else matters and that's all for me um keep liking the video uh do like the video uh, I, 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 I want to say that please do like the video, share and subscribe um, if you like more fans to join in, more people to join so that we have these discussions and conversations and cheer just as a fan. It's been a trying time for us, but uh, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, there are major, major news that I, uh, I will announce concerning uh, SA Rugby. And, uh, you know, as we go along, we'll be excited to move to the next phase, uh, especially during this hard hit pandemic. Um, the pandemic is still with us, although it's reduced the numbers I've seen in SA. They've come down to less than a thousand a day, uh, which is um, very, very... Um, encouraging but we're still in the pandemic so obviously we gotta keep uh, social distancing we gotta uh, continue following the government protocols of uh, washing and sanitizing and just keeping to our general hygiene and this thing will be you know will diminish it it will go down gradually and of course according to your own um, discretion if you want to vaccinate or not um, I will talk about that as well, how it will uh, how it will affect. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> all those out of the way. Let's right, uh, drive or dive right into this uh, week's uh, games and uh, this week's news. Uh, so while I was away, I like calling it while I was away. Um, there was an announcement that SA teams will play at home in the URC in November. Uh, so first of all, we are playing the fourth round of the URC tournament. Uh, lost 3-1-1. Lost 2-1-1, sorry. Uh, this is the fourth game. And then we'll take a break for the international season or the international uh, season to kick in and all that. After that, we'll come back in the, towards the end of November to continue with the URC. So we'll have like two to three weeks off. Basically, it's because of the travels that the teams did. Uh, will come back and uh, they, they might have to quarantine for about 10 days and as well as cater for those international tournaments uh, i think most teams will play most international teams will play two games each um, in this in this uh, period after that we'll come back to the round five and six uh well it's round six and seven 
although we'll have a buy the sa teams will have a buy well celsius sharks mostly will have a buy and will join in in round six playing our fifth game you know how that goes uh so other teams will have a buy along the way and we'll play in that weekend so we'll catch up with them so uh they'll they'll have played six games will have played five games most sa all these four sa teams i'm talking about uh but um it will be able to play in south african soil so the celsius sharks uh against the uh, scarlets will be able to be played at the shark tank and that's exciting because um initially last week uh in the uk and the uk encompasses you know wales and uh, scotland uh and we know we have the welsh shield and the scottish and uh, italian shield in the urc um tournament or in the urc table um, teams from scotland and uh, wales so that forms the uk uh we had a red what is it called we've been red zoned or it's been a uh, sa had been a uh, uh, red listed uh from for uk to travel in the uk when you travel from sa to uk you have to quarantine for 10 days and then you can go on your business but right now we've been taken out of the red list uh and people can travel in and out uh of south africa and uk or come from south africa to uk so that's that's that exchange we've taken we've been taken out due to the low rates of uh covid infection in the country um well reported rates uh let me qualify that reported rates so we are able to travel and that means that uk teams will be able to join us in the tournament and uh they are coming to play us in sa soil previously it was agreed that uh, round six and seven will be will be played in europe but now at least we can play them at home um sorry i just opened the door for the a bit of lighting i hope you can still we can still communicate my lighting is a bit poor uh but the this windy and it's too hot as well uh so that's the first bit of news that we're gonna be able to host our uh our opponents in the sa soil so that's uh exciting news for me uh, i want to see some games up in here um so I'll, I'll, i might go to stadiums as well uh the second one second bit of news is the stadiums um just in conjunction with that we'll be able to host now sa government during um um last week or the week before they announced that uh if you are vaccinated if you're fully vaccinated you'll be able to attend tournaments uh in in the stadium uh, a maximum capacity of 2000 i think was the cap someone correct me if i'm wrong uh 2000 spectators will be allowed in the stadium fully vaccinated and all that they've uh, issued the protocol and 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 whatever was happening and the first game for stadium uh, for fans to be allowed back to the stadium was a football game bafana bafana um in their world cup qualifiers um at fnb stadium so that was that happened and the sharks have announced that they'll also um allow fans who are fully vaccinated into stadiums and that one is a touchy point because uh remember like i started and i said uh based on your own uh, discretion you can vaccinate or not vaccinate um but these kind of rules are there um well you interpret it however you want uh interpret it however much you like um i am fully vaccinated i'll say that but uh for you if you're not then um, some of these things might just feel like oh they they really segregating us um to use a strong word but um it's it's what they are putting ahead they like uh, if if you're fully you're only allowed into stadiums if you're fully vaccinated so make that choice uh if you love rugby that much uh make that choice so we'll be able to join the sharks at the shark tank from 27th of november um well the lucky 2000 fans will get tickets for that game um yeah so the second bit of news the third bit of news is um our very own Dylan Richardson, 22 year old, has been named in the squad, Scotland squad, uh, that will play in this uh, international season. Uh, they will face uh, two games, I think. Um, Tonga 
uh, will be one of them and then Australia, South Africa and Japan. So that's four. <laughs> that's four teams they'll play. So we'll play Dylan Richardson. Uh, Springboks will play against uh, Dylan Richardson if he makes it to the uh, full squad in, in, in the Scottish uh, team. Uh, now, this has happened. Why? Because uh, his dad was born in Scotland. He's, he's from Edinburgh and uh, his mom is South African. So uh, that's why he, he was based here initially. But uh, he qualifies because he hasn't represented the Springboks yet. Um, in international stage or in the under 21s under 20s sorry the baby box he hasn't represented them yet uh, but he is now able to be a full international a scottish international if he chooses we had one as well a scottish um a scottish international before that and he played no irish sorry irish international played for ireland in the two previous world cups and we all know him he retired recently um so it is an opportunity so uh, from sharks fan tv congratulations dylan richardson on your call up i uh, want to see more and more internationals uh, in our squad that will just make our team better in terms of uh, international experience leadership qualities and all that and um, good luck to him in that um, uh, in this season in the upcoming international season four games um Hopefully, we'll get to see him playing in at least one of those games. Uh, hopefully, against the Springboks, we see how good he is in the flank position. Uh, yeah. Lastly, well, a bit of uh, just promotional promotion news for um, Sharks. They've uh, partnered with uh, Servet. Uh, you know that Servet uh, company that you see all over when you go into malls. When you go into Hyde Park Mall down there in KZN when you go to um, uh, here, uh, what is it, in, in Josie as well, when you go to Pretoria, when you go to Mall of Africa, uh, you get to see Servet. I, even in companies as well, they, they offer some services for us. And they're a big company in uh, Geneva, Switzerland. Uh, they're called uh, Servet de Genève. Um, so they've partnered with Celsius Sharks to open uh, a development uh, uh, park or development uh, camp there that uh, will be in partnership with Sharks in a way that they will develop, uh, they'll build an academy there that will be a feeder to the South Sea Sharks and they will also expand the global brand of Sharks. So alongside uh, the likes of, um, you know, MVM, the likes of Rock Nation, uh, we also have Servet that will help, uh, you know, just rebrand our team. Uh, and I hope that one will mean that we'll get more opportunities, bigger players coming to our teams, the likes of Sia Colisi we've seen. And uh, it will be exciting. It will be exciting for us just to have this kind of partnership that will put our brand up there globally. Uh, remember, when we're in the URC tournament, will be also be able to be eligible to play in the European Championship, the Heineken Cup, uh, come next year, uh, the 2022-23 season, um, if we qualify for the uh, what knockout stages, quarterfinals, the top eight of the log table of these 16 teams will qualify for the European Championship trophy. Um, yeah, so that's just a bit of news when i wasn't here when i was away and i'm glad that um, it's happened like this i'm glad that i'm back to share with you uh, all these things so let's dive in a bit of uh, the previous game that we played ospreys versus sharks and uh, we saw the lions british and irish lions captain who was there um, in ospreys team um what's his name again uh i'll just get it to you the guy who likes putting uh you know um tape on his uh alan win jones yeah alan win jones was there um ah, that guy was strong man when he played that game and then, there was a time where he uh we formed a mall and he just went through the middle of the mall uh won back the ball and but he was very strong he a very powerful guy alan win jones 
uh, but he's a Welsh guy and um, I think we really showed them how to play rugby so it was nice to see uh, as for a change playing like that uh, the likes of uh, uh, Ruan Pina came to play uh, although he missed a conversion and then he gave to Bota Chamberlain the ne- sorry a penalty gave Bota Chamberlain the next penalty which he uh, kicked in and then come those three uh, drop goals from Bota Chamberlain where did they come from especially the first one first one close to midway uh, I mean like I-, I was astonished I was like whoa is this Bota Chamberlain that I know of but he's an exciting uh, young player exciting prospects now we have, um, as much as we have scrum ups who uh, we can compete with, uh, Jaden Hendrickse, Sanele Nohamba, now Ruan Pina uh, for this tournament, and uh, uh, what's his name, Grant Williams. Now we have Bota Chamberlain, um, and we have uh, um, Corwin Bosch, although he hasn't played a few. Now Sean Everett is starting to uh, fancy him in the fullback position. But I think that he's still suitable in the flyer position um you know um so Bota chamberlain actually had a really good tournament a really good game uh he was a man of the match for that game uh we won 27 13. uh some few stats some few stats for you guys on that uh although we're going into this one uh with uh the next game just a few stats i'll run them i'll run them uh quickly uh, we had 52 percent possession uh they had 52 percent possession with 48 but we played in their territory uh we played in their territory uh with 14 59 uh, percent they had 41 we had two tries and one conversion but the rest uh they had uh one we had two tries one conversion and two penalties um they had one try they had one try and one conversion and two penalties so we beat them in tries uh, of course the mariners port Gita, with his with the last try that uh, I, I mentioned early on and uh, you see sorry we, you can see that we they they almost dominated the game but we had the better the upper hand we played in their territory we defended well and uh, i just liked how we arranged our defense uh, they were coming there was a time when they were coming and then what was just letting them down is their handling and I can see that our players are now starting to get used to the refs, the, the rules of the game and all that, the pace of the game. Uh, the first two games were not uh, really colorful, but uh, they're starting to get the pace. Uh, but we have to uh, hunt people like Alster and Munster. Those are the teams that we are hunting down in this tournament. Um, so that, that all happened in that game, 27-13, which was great. But... The fourth game is against Cardiff Rugby or Cardiff Blue until 2013. Um, it was called Cardiff Blue, um, but they changed their name to Cardiff Rugby. They have a small uh, local club called Cardiff Rugby and uh, they had qualms about those uh, about the name change and all that, but uh, they are called Cardiff Rugby. Um, Blue is their color, like I, well, the name, like the name Cardiff Blues. Uh, they were formed in, um, actually, they were formed in 2003 uh, because the Welsh Rugby um, had a tournament, had a, um, a tournament, like a premiership, like uh, how the Guinness Premiership is, the top 14, uh, even here, the Curry Cup. Uh, they had more, uh, around nine teams in their um, in their tournaments but due to financial reasons they could not hold all nine so it meant that uh, they had to form regional uh, uh, clubs much like us how we've done uh, with provincial club, clubs sharks are based in durban cheetahs are based in free state stormers are based in uh, uh, western cape uh, things like that so they formed the regional tournament the regional clubs and uh, cardiff rugby was one of them uh, it started as cardiff blue uh, in 2003 was one of them although they didn't have another club joining them but uh, it is a regional tournament uh, a regional club sorry <coughs> and uh, they've been playing in um, uh, tournaments like uh, the welsh cup and stuff like that they've played also in um, um, this uh, previous uh, pro 14 tournament um, 
they've uh, played in the Rainbow Cup. Uh, but I've I've searched. They didn't have. have uh, they haven't had a lot of accolades in the most of these tournaments. The most they've done is 2008 nine season. They reached the semifinals um, of the. What was it? Um, 2008 and 9 they reached the semi-final of the celtic cup um they reached also the finals um yeah they reached the finals of the um champions was it uh champions uh cup in 2009 and 10 season um so they don't really have a lot of accolades i'm sure they've won uh most of their local rugby in in there like the cardiff um cup like i spoke about and all that um but yeah well they might have won an a european tournament i might have missed that but uh um they they are not that uh well i won't say uh just for not 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 to lack respect for them uh they're not one of the teams that predominate uh, dominates uh these tournaments when they go there they they might have uh one season where they've won a trophy they are here and there uh, so we shouldn't fear them going into that, um, into this tournament. But um, let me just give you a few stats uh, in this URC. They've uh, played three. Um, they played three games. They've won one um, and lost two. They are on six points, tenth position in the log. Um, they lost against Bulls, uh, twenty-nine nineteen, and then they lost against uh, Ospreys, eighteen fourteen. Um, and then they won against Connacht, um, 33-21. <clears throat> so um, that is their that is their form coming into this. Um, we haven't met them anywhere. This is the first meeting that we've uh, met them. Um, looking at our tournaments as well, the the previous three games that we've played, um, we lost against Munster the opening game, 42-17. That was a major major. So oh, then uh, we also won. Uh, we also lost. Sorry, against uh, Glasgow Warriors. Um, and then of course last week on Friday we won against the uh, Ospreys, twenty-seven thirteen. Um, the man that we have to watch actually is Owen Lane. He has three tries, fifteen points, and they are fly who plays in the wing or uh, outside center. And then uh, Gareth Anscombe, um, who has a uh, 18 points who's won them 18 points as well and then there's scrum off reese priestland sorry their fly half uh right reese or rice priestland uh also on 18 points so i'll put my money on rice priestland and owen lane to really um you know those are the danger people that we have to watch out so scrum off and uh wing or outside center we have to really watch out for those for those guys. Uh, yeah, jumping on onto the uh, starting fifteen that we play against. Um, so I'm gonna give you Cardiff uh, rugby starting fifteen first, and then I'll mention ours. Uh, of course, Takiri Abrams is injured on our side, but we'll talk more about it. Um, right. So uh, starting fifteen for Cardiff rugby, and most of this I've checked. Um, uh, all of this, well, apart from one player, all of these players are Welsh. Um, um, but, well, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, but I know that uh, all of the players are Welsh apart from uh, one. Uh, but let's go over their starting 15. So in pro position will be uh, Rice Curry and uh, Dylan Lewis. Then uh, hooker will be Kirby Myhill. Then um, lock position will be Seb Davies and uh, Rory Totten. And then Josh Turnbull and uh, Ellis Jenkins will be their flank. Eight man will be Will Boyd. Uh, scrum half is Thomas Williams and uh, fly half is Rice Priestland. The wings will be blind side will be Josh Adams and uh, Aled Summerhill will be the open side wing. Then centers will be Ulisi Hal Halaholo. Um, and that's the player that I said uh, is not Welsh. Halaholo. Uh, obviously, sound one of those uh, Tongans, Fijians. I'll just, I'll just uh, need to know where he comes from. Uh, but Owen Lane is the outside center, and then the fly of, uh, sorry, yeah, the fullback will be Matthew Morgan. 
So once again, their team is uh, Rhys Curry and uh, Dylan Lewis as props, uh, Kirby Myhill as hooker, Seb Davies and Rory Totten as locks, uh, Josh Turnbull and Ellis Jenkins as uh, flanks, Will Boyd, eighth man, uh, Scrum half is Thomas Williams, Reese Prisland um, as fly half, and then wings will be Josh Adams and uh, Aled Summerhill. Um, centers will be Ulisi Halaholo and Owen Lane. Then uh, fullback will be Matthew Morgan. Now, ours, ours, um, um, we were just talking about Aki Abrams. He started the uh, Ospreys games and then uh, unfortunately got injured uh, on a tackle. He's out. Uh, still don't know the extent of the injury. Uh, nothing has been posted on uh, uh, the Sharks website. Uh, but obviously, we wish him a quick recovery. I think, uh, I hope he'll be back for the next uh, game that will be played in November. Uh, but um, just a few Sean Everett words uh, that he said in preparing for this one. Um, he said, from a depends defensive point of view, uh, we were outstanding, uh, talking about Os uh, against Ospreys. Ospreys had many attacking opportunities, but we were able to keep them out of some real sorry, defense. Uh, we also won territory battles, which was due to some really good game management from Ruan Pina and Bueta Chamberlain, and later uh, deservedly man of the match. Um, so the work on us this week uh, were the execution on attack. Uh, we left a couple of opportunities out there and perhaps a bonus point as well, but we will continue to improve and looking forward to the final game on tour. So he's looking forward and he says that he's going to be working on uh, attack and hopefully get a bonus point because yeah, last, last game we had to or we supposed to get a bonus point, but we left it. We didn't unfortunately get it. Uh, but with that, let's look at the team that he put forward. Uh, looks, he made three changes from the previous game. One due to enforcement uh, of the injury. Uh, so, Ntutuko Mkunu and uh, Thomas Dutoy as props. Then Kieran van Furen as hooker. Um, Ruben van Heerden and uh, Hiron Andrews, who had a good game uh, as locks. Then uh, Dylan Richardson and Henko Fenter as um um, flanks so Henko replaces James Fenter in that position then Pepsi Butelezi comes in as well uh, then uh, Ron Pina and Bueta Chamberlain uh, continue their partnership um, in the halfback position then um, wings will be Anthony Forming uh, and Marna Sport Hitter um, then uh, Anthony came from fullback now he's uh, on the wings due to Takiri Abrahams um, then uh, centers will be Mari Costa and Jeremy Ward. Then uh, fullback comes in, uh, Corinne Bosch. So, yeah, once again, Ntutuko Mtunu, Thomas Dutoy as props, uh, Kieran Van Furen as hooker, uh, Ruben Van Heerden and Hiron Andrews as uh, locks, uh, Dylan, Dylan Richardson and uh, Hanko Fenter as uh, flanks, Pepsi Butelezi, our captain uh, on the eighth man, Ruan Pina, scrum half, Bueta Chamberlain, fly half, uh, wings will be Anthony Forming and Mariner Sport Hitter, then Mari Costa and Jeremy Ward as centers, and Corin Bosch as uh, fly half. So let me know what you guys think of um, this game. Uh, let me know do we have uh, two out of uh, two out of four in the tournament uh, that we're gonna we're gonna come out of. Um, and um, Jacques Fenter on the comments, uh, big props to him. Uh, is always keeping us uh, interactive as well. Please keep on doing that. And many other guys as well uh, keep doing that as well. Uh, he said he's talked. We finally got our win. We need to start getting on track, obviously speaking about uh, the Ospreys win. Hopefully we can at least make it two out of four on tour. So do you guys think that we'll make it two out of four on tour? Do you guys think that uh, we're going to have this Cardiff rugby, um, you know, on smokes we're gonna put them on the price stand and uh, smoke them like that uh, i really want to believe that that is it we've gotten the momentum we now know the referees how they blow their whistles in terms of uh, these small offenses offside racks um, lineups as well uh, how to you know call out for more um what is it called um, 
more manpower when it comes to the mall and all that so we know these things and it's it, it's now starting to we're starting to gel we've been adapting our honeymoon period is over with these three games now the fourth game i want us to start playing how the sharks play and this tournament will just keep on improving for us um remember guys um after this we won't have a game until the 27th of november uh, versus scarlets which will be at the shark tank so uh do enjoy the game i uh, wanna wish you um all the best where you are keep uh healthy uh safe covid free as well and um you know you g i enjoy the game guys and uh, hopefully by the next game most of our springboks will have come back from uh their tournaments and the international uh season and we'll find a more gelled team going into the november december period uh for this season but um enjoy the game guys and keep it shark and uh keep it uh white and black nothing else matters guys i'll see you on the next one